of Vogue. Today I'm gonna to be getting ready for my day and I'm gonna show you guys a little makeup routine that I do every now and then. And I think for today I'm gonna to do a summer makeup that I have been doing as of lately. So let's go. For this occasion, we're gonna get ready to go get some brunch in the streets of Paris. Um no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Probably put my hair up. I got my hairs cut in layers, so they're growing very awkwardly. I'm gonna set aside my bangs with this little clip. All right, so now that I have my hair out of the way, we're going to start. Um, my face has already been washed, and I'm gonna set in this face mask um, which is Snell Essence and it basically is for repairing and moisturizing because right now that it is changed of weather and stuff um, my skin can get very sensitive and it's like it has a little bit of dry patches every here and there so we're gonna add this Snell mask to prep the skin so let's go so the whole face mask thing, I do it every day, um, just like when I feel like I need it. So the whole face mask situation is not an everyday type of thing, but the rest will be. It's just kind of to make my routine look luxurious, fancy, and interesting. All right, so having a little bit of a hard time here with the face mask. So. Let's put her on, shall we? Alright. So, here it is. It feels very nice and refreshing. Um, I try to keep them um, store it in a very cool place so whenever I feel like I need to get refreshed for the day then this is like a perfect way um, especially now that it's becoming more warmer um, it gets a little bit overwhelming sometimes when you go outside and it's like immediate heat so kind of cooling down to get your day started is really good also it's really good when you put like um, cooler things into your face because it kind of helps that little swelling from the morning to kind of like deep up your face. Um, honestly, to be honest with you, I don't notice it. Only when I cry. But here we have our face mask. I'm just gonna wait for a little bit. I'm gonna be looking so luscious after this. Um, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Jackie. And I am a famous actress and <laughs> oh my god, y'all, what am I doing? <laughs> Why did I decide to start my YouTube videos? Someone asks. It's a very sentimental story for me because I hope you guys can understand me and hope that there's not a strong echo. But anyways, going back to the question that someone asked, um, I just, I talk to myself a lot. So I was like, why not talk to you? Why do I have to talk to myself when I could talk to you? in a way we all have daydreams we all have dreams and we all talk to ourselves so oh my gosh it looks like I have no lips <laughs> just gonna take the time here to relax this is self-care that you need 
every now and then every morning to just get ready for the day um, hydrate, nourish, feed your skin um, your skin will be thankful for this um, also try to nourish your whole body not just your face because your body deserves it it loves you the time has finally come to take this off ready for the transformation y'all oh my gosh i'm glowing all right so we're gonna set this aside and the rest of the little liquid essence that's left in here you can use it for later just like put it in your face and just like dab it in there at night perfect just to not waste little nutrients that are, are left behind and also because face masks are not cheap so save up your money um all right i feel like this kind of enhanced my pimple more <sighs> all right so we're just gonna dab it in there kind of massage that into the skin also bring it down to the neck I read somewhere that your neck face and hands are some of the very obvious places to tell with aging and stuff like that um, a lot of people don't take care of their hands you gotta take care of your hands because when you're doing stuff it gets a lot of sun exposure so that's why you get sunspots and stuff like that so take care of your hands take care of your body basically all right so i'm just gonna dab it in there just keep massaging your face under us y'all i did not know it was like this bad but to kind of speed up the absorbing absorption process story time about this fan um my dog chewed it off but it still kind of works it's giving still all right so after the little skincare I am going to get started on the whole face, um, the makeup. So first, I am going to go in with some sunscreen. I like the Australian Gold. It's plant-based and it has aloe and coconut and I love this one. The reason why I love it is because it doesn't feel greasy um, and it doesn't leave a white cast and it feels very nice on my skin because it moisturizes it very nicely so I'm gonna add some here and then I'm gonna add some to my neck let's go adding sunscreen is really important whether it's cloudy, snowy, sunny doesn't matter Alright, so now I'm going to add some to my neck. Because the sunscreens that I have tried, like I said, they just didn't work for me or they just made me break out. But this one, from the times that I have had it and tried it and stuff, oh, I love it. And then just kind of look at the transformation from how my face started when I began the video. It was very dull and now it's like a little bit more hydrated more ready for the day it looks more awake definitely all right so let's get started with the makeup so since this is a daily makeup routine type of thing i am not going to do foundation um i'm going to do concealer so i go in with my elf hydrating camo concealer and before i get started with anything else i'm gonna prep my beauty blender um i think this is also elf but I'm gonna go with the sponge and I will be back. So, 
Now that that's ready, I'm gonna start off with the concealer and I'm just going to place this like so. On just like the areas that I want to brighten up. Like that. Then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline concealer. And this one's a little bit darker because I like to blend it in since my color right now is a little bit uneven. Just kind of put that on the outside. Like so. Then, I'm gonna brush, fluffy brush. And I like to blend out this in before I use my beauty blender just kind of like to spread around the product because I personally feel like when I go in with a beauty blender um, it soaks in a lot of the product and it kind of just like disappears then so like I kind of just blend it inwards and outwards just kind of like there's a lot of product in this area but when I blend it out it kind of like distributes evenly and thinly so it looks still very natural but it has plenty of coverage and you can kind of see the difference already beauty blender and just kind of dab it in there because um, if I were just to leave it like that with a brush on camera it looks like it kind of distributed evenly but like in real life it really doesn't look like that it kind of is left kind of streaky and as you notice I don't put any like on my nose because when I add product on my nose, I break out. <laughs> like, my nose is very sensitive. So what I like to do instead is get some product with a beauty blender and just like... See, it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, the thing is that I don't know where to get it again. I stole this one from my mom. It's a rare item. Alright, and I'm gonna dab it in there with my beauty blender again. I like this one because it doesn't look cakey. Oh, and I love that. It doesn't crease or anything. It's very lightweight, but it does something. Um, Alright, so now that I have my base, I'm gonna go in with this little contour. I'm gonna get a little angled pointy fluffy brush by elf oh it, it literally has a name right here it's a blush brush and i'm gonna go in with this little shade because i feel like the rest kind of match me i got it too light um i got it from ross for 2.99 I love this one too because it's not very dramatic. It's very light and it's cream and it's very beautiful. And the packaging is so cute. All right. I don't want it to be so exaggerated because, like I said, this is a day to day look. Just kind of want it to be there but not really there. All right. So then after that, I'm gonna get my favorite blush, which is this one from Milani. They're cream blushes again. And I just, I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. And they're my favorite as of the moment. So, I'm gonna get a little brush. I forgot, I wanted to moisturize my lips also. So here I have this cute little mini Vaseline. Um, I love it, it's so cute, it's like so tiny. Um, but anyways, it's for the lips. Let me just 
Which I opened. All right, so, so cute. All right, I'm just gonna cut a little bit and place it on my lips. So they're not crusty at the end. All right, now let's get started with the blush. I like using this one. It's like a really rosy pink. Then getting my little brush and just dab it in there first. Then I'm gonna kind of do circular motions and bringing it up. Gonna blend out beautifully. Like I love it so much. It looks so natural and so dewy. I love it. And what I love about this one is that it doesn't like separate. It doesn't look powdery. But then again, it's a cream. But anyways, just look at it. The difference that it makes on the skin. Um, just gonna do this side. Tap and circle. Oh, I love this blush so much. Now that I have that blush in there, I'm gonna go in with this one and tap it in the middle. give more little brightness and pink color to the cheeks. So, like so. And it looks very natural, very nice and flushed and I absolutely love it. Now, we're gonna go in with the brows and that's kind of just very easy since my brows are kind of there but they need a little bit of a little bit of shaping, you know. So for the brows, I like to use the ColourPop Clear Feather Effect. And for this one, you have to activate it with some water. So I'm just gonna dab in some water in here, like so. Get a little spoolie brush and just get some product in and. Let's start brushing. So, I really like the way my mom's brows are shaped. She just has them very perfectly. For mine, they're very stubborn. I brush them a certain way and then they just go all over the place. So, I think that's, that's just who they are. They like to do their own little thing. Alright. My brows are also not even like related. So I just have to try to accept them as who they are. Since I also have bangs, I'm not even gonna try to put any effort in the brows. Just leave them as is. Try to help them. They didn't want my help. So we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna do my eyes now and I'm gonna go in with this little palette. It's by Chic Color and I got it from Timu. Um, my eyes are fine as of now, so I think it's probably a success. Um, and here, I'm just gonna get my little brush, my eyeshadow brush, which is right here. I am going to go in with hmm, this little one. It's like a reddish brownish. And I'm going to use that in the outside corner of my eye. And then I'm 
just gonna kind of try to blend that outwards so I didn't leave a harsh line. Like so. Alright. So now that I have a little bit of color, I'm gonna do the same on this eye. Alright, so this is how it looks as of now. Then after that, I'm gonna go in with this brown. It's again another brownish reddish, but it's a little bit more brown. And I'm just gonna dab it in here, kind of like mimicking a little liner. Not going all the way up, but just kind of like so. Then again, I'm gonna try to bring that under my lash line. Like so. Then do the same for the other eye. Progressively, I started up here and then I ended up like this close to you guys. I'm sorry <laughs> We're very up close Anyways, I'm gonna keep curling my lashes Like I said, they're very stubborn. I'm gonna add the mascara and then they're gonna plop over I just want some nice curled up lashes. I'm so jealous of the ones that have very curled up lashes just like please I want that anyways then after that I don't know if anyone else does this I'm pretty sure people do this but I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna curl my bottom lashes just kind of have been doing this for a long time and I can just do that very fast All right, after that, I'm gonna go again with this one. Then after that, I'm gonna get this little reddish, sparkly-ish glitter shadow. I'm gonna use my fingers, I feel like, because they absorb the glitter better. And I'm just gonna put that on the outside. Like so, to give it a little bit more color. with this little glitter shadow by Capuini and it's like a pink glitter it's so cute I love it. look at how pretty it is then I'm gonna use that in the middle of my eye like that do the same on the other eye some mascara after this and I'm gonna use the Clinique high impact waterproof like so all right Done. We're almost done. For lips, I usually go with a berry colored lip stain lip gloss, but today I'm gonna go in with this one. It is the LAC um, shade in love, and it's a matte. And I'm gonna go in. Like so. So, 
gonna use this liner. It's a pencil liner. And just kind of do a little swoop. Not all the way, it's not like a cat eye line all the way, just very small and subtle. Just kind of to enhance my eyes a little bit more, like so. And I'm probably gonna add my lipstick because I feel like it's missing. There you go. Now, gonna free the bangs. All right. And if I do want to add my little lipstick, then I have a P S P C P C U, and I like to put that on the inner. Of my lips just because I felt like it was kind of blocking a little bit of color all right I just kind of fluffed up my bangs a little bit and here is my final look um, I really like it it's very dewy um, and the blush, like I said, is like one of my favorites. And this is kind of my day to day right now as of summer. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll go see what is out there to do for today. So thank you. Bye bye.